your past is a gift okay so in these videos this week what we're looking at is your gifts that are inside of you the gifts that are inside of each and every one of us okay and it's up to us whether we use them or we don't it's always been a choice but the problem is we've never been taught that this is what's important that this is what matters we've taught from so young to look outside you know and to always be comparing ourselves to others rather than these are your gifts these are your strengths go <laughs> you know go out into the world and do your best you know give it your best shot so in this one the ones I wanted to talk about are kindness kindness is in all of us in every moment that you're out in the world opportunities are always being thrown at you always if you open your eyes and you look around really carefully there are so many moments within your day that you can do a kindness for someone else whether it's you know uh, maybe it's a mum with a pram with a baby or a stroller whatever you want to call it having trouble opening a door to get into a shop or to get into a toilet or to get into somewhere <laughs> It takes you two seconds to open that door and hold it for this person so that they can go through. Little things like that. You know, someone with lots of groceries drops something and having trouble picking it up because they've got so many bags on them. It takes two seconds to pick that up and connect with that person. Two seconds. You're in a queue and you can clearly see that someone's late they're running late they're, 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 I was thinking the word you know they, they seem flustered because you know they need to be somewhere and you're not in a hurry please you go first it's only going to take an extra minute for them to be served and for you to go or well, maybe it takes five minutes you weren't in a rush and they clearly were there's your kindness for the day and all these little things, as you do them, you know, whether the person says thank you, whether most times, nine times out of 10, they will thank you, or they will smile, or they'll be appreciative of your help. They will, it's just the nature of people. You know, when someone helps, when someone's trying to do a kindness, to be grateful for that moment. It's just our nature to do that. But in that moment, whether they thank you or not, you feel good that you've done something you've connected to someone else you've done something nice for someone without them asking you it's just come from you you've stepped out and gone out of your way just to do that for that person for a stranger usually it's someone you don't know it doesn't matter you don't need to know them <laughs> you know but even so the kindness that you have can be for people around you you know if you see they're struggling with something and you can help them with that do it because it's in your power to do that and in that moment that you're helping the two of you connect it's so important kindness is one of the most beautiful gifts that you can give to anyone whether it's someone in your life or someone that you don't know you know it reminds you and that person how connected you really really are to the world so do a kindness look at least for one opportunity every day look for that one one look open your eyes and look around where can I be of service because the truth is we feel the most separate from the world we feel the most disconnected when we're not at service to others when we're not serving others in some way because in serving you are giving of yourself to someone else you're either sharing your experience your knowledge you know if you're helping someone with homework for example or with studies you know if there's someone in your class having trouble with maths and you're really good with maths you're helping you're sharing of who you are I can do that I can help you with that 
and you're making that other person feel better because maybe they didn't understand how the teacher explained it, but you might be able to explain it in a way that they get it. And that will make them feel better that they finally understand. It's not an alien thing to them, these numbers on the board or these figures on the board, whatever it is that you're learning at the time. There's so many opportunities that you can be kind to someone else, always. You know, you're sitting on the bus and there's this heavily pregnant woman that gets onto the bus that can hardly walk because she's so big. <laughs> you can see her ankles are swollen, you know. Give her your seat. You're young enough. If you're healthy enough, give thanks for your health as you do it. You know, that you, you're fit enough that you can stand up for the ride. Doesn't matter how long the ride is. Another seat will present itself if you're, you know, <laughs> if you're too tired. But you're doing something for someone else. You're connecting through kindness. And that's in all of us. That kindness exists in everyone. It's not just to a few. It's not just to the attractive. It's not just to the smart people. That's in all of us. So there's no reason that you can't start using that tool today that's been given to you. Because <laughs> it makes you feel good to do these things for other people. It makes you feel good about who you are. All right, my darlings? All right, remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll come back in the next one with another tool. <laughs> Something else that you can use today. All right? That you may know who you are. All right, my darlings. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Remember to share because sharing is caring. Bye for now.